Francis from Impin FM. Today we're back with another WWE predictions video with the Elimination Chamber. I've done the NXT Philadelphia and the Royal Rumble last month. I was pretty close with NXT. I watched, tend to watch that a bit more so I have more of what's going on. Royal Rumble I was kind of hit and miss really. So hopefully I'm a bit more accurate with my predictions today. I have been more casually watching so I've read up on the storylines and I'm obviously going to give you my predictions. For the first match, Matt Hardy or Woken Matt Hardy versus Bray Wyatt. To be honest, I do not care about this rivalry. It's it's a shame to say because I was a huge Bray Wyatt fan. Not so much Matt Hardy because I didn't really watch uh, Impact Wrestling. But for me, it, it could go either way. But because of uh, obviously a prediction video, I'll say Bray Wyatt to win. Because WWE tend not to care about things that aren't their creations, and obviously a Woken Matt Hardy is not their creation. For the second match, Asuka versus Nia Jax. I believe Asuka will win. She will probably take a beating though, in terms of, obviously, they're going to be showing Nia Jax is really strong. Or, you know, they're going to make her as strong as possible, and obviously Nia Jax can go into the championship match at WrestleMania. But to me, Asuka's on too much of a decent run. She's obviously undefeated coming into WWE and the main roster, so I just don't see her losing. So the contract signer, Ronda Rousey, obviously coming to the WWE, she turned up at Royal Rumble after the, the Women's Royal Rumble the first time ever. They'll tr probably create a feud. Um, the rumour is basically they'll probably feud with uh, Stephanie McMahon and Triple H and her partner might possibly be uh, Kurt Angle. Yeah, I think that's what they're going with it. They'll obviously create a feud from this contract signing. But again, I'm not too interested. For the Women's Elimination Chamber, I can only really see one winner, Alexa Bliss. There's a lot of kind of second favourite being Sasha Banks. But to be honest, there, she's probably going to go on a heel turn, as it's been rumoured. I do believe she'll have a match against Bailey at some point, obviously turning on her long-term friend. It might even end up that Bailey eliminates Sasa Banks. I'm not actually 100% certain. As I say, I've kind of been more of a casual fan lately. But certainly, Alexa Bliss to retain for myself. So for the men's elimination chamber, I can only see one winner. And it's a pretty obvious winner. Roman Reigns to win for me. I would love it if uh, Braun Strowman won this, but I just don't think he will. Going into that main event at WrestleMania, they're going to go with someone that they're used to. And obviously, Roman Reigns is that man that fits the sort of WWE dynamic and picture, face of the company, all that sort of stuff. Uh, John Cena is obviously going to be uh, up there as well. I don't think he, uh, it could come down to Roman Reigns and John Cena. What shocked me about this is obviously there's not a lot of plans for the likes of The Miz, Seth Rollins, Finn Balor. You know, so close to WrestleMania, I would think that they would actually have plans for them, but it doesn't seem that way. But yeah, Roman Reigns to win this match for me. Thanks for watching guys.